Tuesday morning. Yes, ginger snaps, sugar cookies, cornbread. It all sounds nice this time of year and this morning. Allie introduces us to a father-son duo giving high fives by the baker's dozen. I want some cookies right now. As you prepare for your favorite Thanksgiving meal or dishes, we know for many of you that includes pies and cookies. And these bakers you're about to meet started High Five Bakery out of their Minneapolis home. Bill and Frankie Koch are busy baking too, but with every dozen is a special surprise. A high five is served up with every order, and that's what makes these two Minnesotans to meet. A visit to the Koch household in Minneapolis is pretty much guaranteed to include a high five. Bonding over baking has become a year round recipe for Bill Koch and his son Frankie. We started probably a couple years ago, Christmas time, where, you know, we've always baked things at Christmas time. We've baked cookies, and I think we just had the idea to. Put it in a way that you could help and actually see things. Frankie is a senior at Southwest High School. His dad says his favorite cookies are frosted sugar cookies. Bill says those usually go fast. The first thing we need is two cups of flour. Yep. Can you grab the flour? Frankie's iPad helps him share stories of trips to his classmates at school and also making sure he doesn't forget any ingredients. So that's how we start the recipe with flour. I think the biggest thing we want to teach Frankie is that he can do things like this. You can learn the sequence of events. You can help me in the kitchen. We can put something together and you can learn those things step by step. You know, and every time we do it, you get a little more independent. This baker has improved so much, though, that his dad thought starting High Five Bakery out of their home was the perfect recipe for success. And when we were coming up with a name for a bakery, there was really only one name because we thought that was cool that you could greet people, you could give everybody who orders a high five. Bill says his up high claps are Frankie's way of being social. Orange is his favorite color, which is why this logo, donated time by a friend of Bill's, made it all the more special. So seeing that come together, putting together our own website, and then having an event was really cool. Their first taste test, a holiday bazaar at their church. We had giant ginger cookies, which was our biggest seller. They're about that big. Uh, we made some chocolate chip cookies. Uh, one of our signature things, too, is frosted sugar cookies in the shape of Minnesota. The father-son team sold out. A sure sign of a salute to the cooks. Bill hopes this is the beginning of something even bigger as his 18-year-old son prepares for his next chapter after high school. It seems like we have a good product and a good price. And I think going forward, it would be really cool to do farmer's markets next year. Yeah. You would love that. You'd have a blast doing that. You know, and then in a unicorn lollipop world someday, it would be amazing to have a brick and mortar store that employed special needs adults. Whoa, we lost that one. There we go. Can I get a high five? Mm. Boom. So they are taking orders right now for the rest of the month. 10% of the proceeds are going to the Courage Center, which mm. helps provide Frankie with a lot of activities like skiing and different sporting events oh, that cool. he likes to participate in. And for this month, they are making skillet cornbread with rosemary and also ginger snap cookies. $12.50 for the cornbread, $9 for a dozen ginger snaps. And well. since they are a cottage food business, they can't sell outside of the state of Minnesota. Now, Jason and Kim, I know you tried them. Yep. They are very good. The yeah, ginger but, snaps. That's what I tried. Yeah, we both tried the ginger snaps. Mm -hmm. Jason, you tried the ginger snaps too. I did. I Super did. good. And just a great mm -hmm. idea and really a great thing that he and his son get to do uh, together. Yeah, and talk about what a great dad. Mm -hmm. All those opportunities that he's providing for Frankie. So cool. And Frankie's getting better and better each week at cooking. Matt, I would give you some, but we ate them all. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was, I he was, only wants oatmeal raisin anyway. I was raisin noting anyway. that like... Kim got to try one. <laughs> Jason got to try one. You just don't sit one. on the right side of the newsroom. That's you what happened. You would have find me. <laughs>